So this first one here. Yeah, number 139. Uh, 143 is also similar, but we're going to deal mostly with 139. Is the the age-old question that uh, even um, our brother James in the book of James deals with, was Abraham justified by faith or by works? By right, faith so, or by works? Yeah, so the idea is what caused Abraham to be justified, right? That's mm-hmm. the question. Was the causal agent his his works or was the causal agent faith, right? Right. So, yeah. yeah. And so, uh, so... So there are two passages that he points out here, right? Romans 4, 2, and then also James 2, 21. And obviously we're not reading the entirety of Romans 4 or also James 2, but that would be uh, appropriate to do uh, 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 with a number of these. But uh, Romans 4, 2 says, For if Abraham was justified by works, he has something to boast about, but not before God. So there it's trying to say that Abraham was justified not by works, but by faith. James 2.21, however, says, Was not Abraham our father justified by works when he offered up his son Isaac on the altar? Yeah. So so which is it? Yeah, was it he justified by faith? Or, to be two. Or, or, or was yeah. he justified by works, right? That's kind of the, mm-hmm. the issue here. It seems like the Bible is saying, you know, he's justified by faith in one instance and he's justified by works in another place. And right. so, up oh, a contradiction, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So what are we dealing with here? Well, the, the Romans passage, uh, the, to, to, to get into Romans 4, uh, we, we need to realize that when we say Romans 4, we come to uh, an understanding, an approach to the Bible where these things have been broken up for us. So there's no Romans 4 in the original. Uh, uh, Paul didn't go through and say this is mm-hmm. chapter 4 and so in chapter 4 you're almost smack dab in the middle of probably one of the most heavily theological based argumentation uh, up until really what chapter 12 where mm-hmm. he says therefore mm-hmm. and therefore covers the 11 <laughs> previous chapters um, so uh, there is a, a clear gospel presentation where uh, Paul makes the case that we are clearly not justified by works, but by faith. Mm -hmm. Because if we were justified by our works, there's something that we can boast about. Um, There's something that we can laud over people um, when we make our way to heaven. uh, And, and God tells us, you know, you know, asks us what, why, why we should be let in. Uh, We can say, well, you know, Christ made it possible, but I was very sensitive to your calling. And so I was uh, uh, acted out on, on, my um, spidey sense of <laughs> of salvation, and so I'm really the main cause of, of why I'm saved. But that's clearly from Ephesians two to Romans to Galatians to all the the, the complete works of of the New Testament. It's clear that uh, faith is a gift given by grace by God, and there's nothing that we can do to earn it. Mm-hmm. Uh, uh, so the works then doesn't work because mm-hmm. for, in terms of getting us salvation. Right. Yeah. Yeah. And Lyle points out, I it seems rightly so, that, you know, you asked the question, was Abraham <laughs> justified by faith or works? And you say, yes. Mm-hmm. Right. Because, you know, the, he it was both. Right. So the issue, though, is what do you mean by justified? Right. right. And so what he says here, you know, I think it's helpful for us here. He says Abraham was justified both <clears throat> by faith and and works because notice to justify means either to be in right moral standing that is you know before God or to show that one is morally in right standing that is before people mm-hmm. right yeah so, so, so who Abraham, is your audience yeah yeah exactly who's your audience <clears throat> Abraham was justified by faith alone before God right his faith his trust in God that God would accomplish what he said would he would do is what Paul is referring to that uh, justified that made him right before God his his faith right so before God he was justified by faith right God sees our hearts he knows what 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 you know how what what's going on in there and so he justified Abraham's but no uh, faith by uh, justified justified Abraham by faith but Abraham was also justified notice before men 
How do we know justified was uh, Abraham was justified was acting rightly? Well, because we see his works, right? Mm -hmm. So before God, he was justified by faith. God justified him based on his faith. That is then worked out and acted out in such a way that now we, by means of Abraham's works, can see that he is justified. Mm -hmm. He's justified. So before men, he's justified by works. Right. Mm -hmm. Which is the entire point of James 2. And so, again, to, to break down James, you almost have to go back to the middle of chapter 1. But in chapter 2, it talks about, especially in verse 14, what good is it, my brothers, if someone says he has faith but does not have works? Can that faith save him? So what is he doing? He's he's talking about two types of faith. Mm. He's talking about a faith that uh, produces good works, and then there's a faith which doesn't produce good works. And who is it before? It's before men. That's what chapter 2 is about. Mm -hmm. It's about, uh, you know, um, even the demons believe Obviously, their belief doesn't save them. So, what what is it that? And therefore, that their belief doesn't produce works. Good works, right? Yeah, good yeah, works yeah. that would allow us to say, "Oh, yes, they're justified." Mm -hmm. Clearly, they're not. Yeah. Right? So, so re reading James two and and um, th this this James two is always thrown out by uh, Roman Catholics, especially t or um, um, skeptics who want to pit James against. Paul, especially to say, well, James was written early. Um, James seems to be kind of a, 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 a proto, um, uh, before the Gospels, proto-Gospel mm -hmm. book, uh, letter. And so it seems like, oh, Paul then comes about with his version of Christianity. So it, he seems to, uh, the, 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 the questions with skeptics tends to try and create this war against, and they'll, they'll sometimes throw in even, uh, Martin Luther who, uh, at, d depending on which version of Martin Luther you read, uh, at one point in his life didn't like the book of James. Um, but to, to, to read it slowly in context within the whole um, um, uh, collection of God's word, uh, we see exactly what James is talking about. And, and the entire book of James is about the work of salvation out in the church mm. before and people. in the individual lives mm -hmm. right yeah. so abraham was declared right that's the literal idea of justification right he was declared right by god for his trusting god's promises mm -hmm. trusting that god would accomplish what he was said and then he was he was seen he was <laughs> demonstrated before men to be justified by his works how he obeyed god right and so that's so it's a so yes was abraham uh justified by works or by faith yes he was both right? mm -hmm. uh, but it depends on the, the audience and, and what we're attempting right. to accomplish so if if you get things like this where where th <coughs> this one's a great example you have it seems like two complete opposite uh contradictory bible verses but reading in context especially if you read just James 2 in context and you read it slowly and figure it out and work it out and try and figure out what the argument is, why it's being argued, and who is it arguing to, um, it, it, you clearly see, um, especially James, d declaring two different versions of faith, a, a, a dead faith, which is not an actual faith, but he's comparing, comparing people who say, I have faith, and their life shows nothing, and those who carry out faith and uh, uh, carry out good works as a result of their faith. And so they do things like um, uh, don't waver when, when, when facing trials and being thankful for it. They take care of the orphans and the widows. And so you, you see um, uh, application of that type of faith within the scope of uh, the letter that James uh, provides. Mm -hmm. So Lyle calls this the bifurcation fallacy. We can also call it the uh, the uh, false dilemma mm -hmm. where either A or B is the case, which <laughs> is it? And well, in this case, it's both. Mm -hmm. It's both. Both are the case. Yes, Abraham was justified by both of these things, yeah. but the audience and the perspective is different. Mm -hmm.